and request and I will act on them. Please remember to follow Geography World channel on Instagram and Facebook using the link shown on the screen. Please remember to like, share with your friends and subscribe. For person wishing to contact me privately, you may email me at geographyworld100 at gmail.com. The link will be posted below. Hi guys, welcome back to Geography World. For this video, we'll be looking at the May-June 2015 CSEC Paper 2. And this video, we're going to look at question number 2. Let's get into it. So question number 2 shows a figure that is basically asking that you identify tectonic plates. So it's labeled A to E, and you're to identify at least 4. So this is how they're labeled here. So at A which is here, we have the North American plate. At B, which is our hair, all of him here is known as the Caribbean plate. At C, we have the Caucasus plate. At D, we have the Nazca's plate. And at E, we have the South American plate. Let's go over that once more. So at A, we have the North American plate. At B, we have the Caribbean plate. At C, we have the Caucasus plate. At D, we have the Nazca's plate. And at E, we have the South American plate. This is it. You can take a screenshot of that so that you can fill it out on your own paper. Let's move on to question B, part B to the question. And here we are to define the following terms. We are to define denudation, weathering, mass wasting, and erosion. Denudation. So denudation, guys, is the name given to all the processes that strip away the surface of the earth, revealing the underlying rocks so all the processes that these with the stripping away of the earth's surface the basically show the underlying rock is known as denudation then we have weathering and weathering refers to the breaking up and decaying of rocks instituted by atmospheric conditions so it is the breaking up of rocks and the breaking up and decay of rocks in instituted by atmospheric conditions while mass wasting is the movement of whether rock debris or soil down slope due to an influence of gravity. Erosion is the wearing away of the earth's surface by the action of wind, water, and ice. If you like the content so far, please remember to subscribe and leave a like. Um, you can also leave comments below. Let's move on to part C of the question where it asks that we compare movements and resulting features that transform and converge in plate boundaries where they give examples of each type of the plate boundaries in the Caribbean. So this is 6 marks and this is 3 for each. So 3 for convergence, 3 for dive, um, transform. So what you're doing is 1, to compare the movement between both, that is 2 marks, we're talking about resulting feature, that's another mark, and you have to include examples of each in the Caribbean as well. Let us start with the transform plate boundary. Now, a transform plate boundary, the plates are sliding past each other. That's the movement. So, as you can see in this picture, both plates are sliding past each other. Now, they're sliding past each other in the opposite direction. And what this does is it results in a feature known as faults. So right along this area, we have a feature resulting in known as what We know that earthquakes are produced along, major earthquakes are produced along transform plate boundaries, but earthquake is not a feature. Hence, faults would be produced right here. So it produced faults. And an example of transform plate boundary is a North American plate that is sliding past the Caribbean plate. Once you included the direction that is moving, sliding past each other, the 
example, which is North America versus um, starting parts of Caribbean plate, as well as the resulting feature, which is the fault, then three marks should be yours for transform. Let's just look at convergence. So at convergent plate boundaries, this is where you have two plates that are colliding with each other or moving towards each other, resulting in features such as volcanoes, or Ford mountains. In this case, you have the two plates coming towards each other. In this case, one is being subducted beneath the other. For some, if it is two continental plates, what will happen is that they will fall upward um, to create fold mountains. Now, along this area, you will have like trenches being developed, you will have volcanic island arch being developed, volcanoes. And as I said, if it's two continental across, you have Fall mountains basically developing as well. So as I said, in this picture, you have subduction taking place. And an example of convergent plate boundaries is a Caribbean plate meeting with a South American plate where one is forced to subduct. So once you're able to do that, uh, six marks in total should be yours. So once you are able to explain the movements of the plates, the features that result from the plates, as well as examples in the Caribbean, six marks is yours. To explain how temperature change and frost actions can destroy rocks. Guys, if you have not liked and subscribed already, this is the time for you to go ahead, subscribe, drop your comments in the comment section. Let me know what videos you wanna see. Let me know if you want me to change anything. But go ahead guys, click that subscribe button, drop a like, drop a comment. Thank you for the continue, your continued support. So, temperature change takes place in areas that have a very high diurnal temperature range, such as in the deserted areas, where rocks can be destroyed due to the outer layer basically expanding during the heat of the day and it contracts during the cooling of the night. So after repeated expansions and contractions, you realize that tiny cracks within outer layers of the rock will enlarge and eventually peel off through the process of exfoliation. So due to the high temperatures and then the temperature drop, what you realize is that the outer layer of the rock will start to peel off in a process known as exfoliation as is seen here. Once you're able to explain that, you should be good on your way. So, we know that in areas that are extremely cold, frost action takes place. So during the day, the water will basically seep into the cracks in the rocks here. And at night, when it's very cold or the temperature is below zero, then the water freezes. Once the water freezes, what it does is it expands the crack in the rock. During the day, when it is the temperature is higher and it is a little bit warmer, what it does is it melts the water. So this constant expanding and contracting over and over will basically result in the rock splitting apart. Right? It's forcing the crack to enlarge and over time, it will basically cause that piece of the rock to break off from the parent rock. So we call that frost action. That was 24 marks. Once you were able to explain or attempt answer all of these questions that would have been 24 marks for you remember guys to leave your comment let me know if you need me to change anything thank you we are at the end of this video thank you for watching and please remember to like share subscribe and turn on your post notification bell in order to receive more videos like these leave comments below suggesting topics that you would want me to present on in the comment section below, comment the name of your school and the territory for a shout out in my next video. Until then, bye!